me and Peep started talking in like 2014 or 15. He reached out to me and uh, was just kind of like, yo, like I like your beats. I only knew him at the time as his email. I just knew him as Gus. I had sent him like, I don't know how many beats, like 10 beats, I think. And he sent me back one song and I was like, I, re I replied like in all capitals, like, damn, you snapped. <laughs> Me and Peep became real close, like, uh, I considered him my, he was my best friend. It was destiny, you know, like, I really felt like it was meant to, like, just all come together like that. Like, from us talking on email to meeting in person, and then to just being, like, borderline, like, homeless together, like, it was just real rough for us. The song started off with me like I had gone into the studio with Rob Cavallo and um, my other friend Juan. We were just kind of jamming out like uh, Rob was on guitar and uh, Juan was on bass. I told Rob I wanted to do something with a fast tempo but have like a slow vibe to it at the same time. We recorded for hours and I looped this one part. It just caught my ear so much and uh, I knew it would be great for a song. So I threw it in gross beat, put it on half speed. It's a very like common thing to do with like I think like trap beats. A lot of trap producers do it, and that's kind of where I I picked it up. So it's like real slow and dark and eerie, kind of you know. But that changes a little bit, you know. Once the uh, that gross beat's taken off of it, it's just yeah. So it lightens up a little bit. It's not as dark or eerie, but it still has the dark tone to it, you know. I started adding 808s to it, and I was like. It just didn't sound right to me and I wanted to do something different. So I was like, let's just cut out the 808s and use straight bass guitar, you know? Feels a little bit more like uh, authentic. He just jammed across the, the melody and we got. I started off with some drums that were kind of just bouncy. So it was like. So I sped the hi-hats a little bit just to give it that like fast motion, kind of like you're in a car, you can like you cruise out to this shit kind of vibe, you know, like, you know. I like to keep it simple. Like it's just kind of like that vibe where it's like really like simple melody, but it has like a dark tone to it. Just bouncy drums. And then as the song goes on, just like change the progression of the drums a little bit. I take out the hi-hats, you know, kind of give some, like, space for the vocals. Real simple. And I threw a little rim sound in there. I like rim sounds a lot. And sometimes I'll even use them as my snares. And with the hi-hats, I ended up speeding it up even more. I put it into triplets. So it kind of gives it this, like, weird, like, kind of bounce. I bring the uh, verse in right here and I just filtered out the main guitar and then just had the bass guitar playing. It gives like this like a uh, open space for the vocals to like really stand out. So I use Fruity Free Filter for all my melodies and uh, what I do is I automate the, the frequency. I basically have it rise. You can kind of see it. So the frequency goes up and it basically takes out that like low pass kind of sound. I was sitting right next to him in the room when I watched him record and I was just like, it, it was always cool for me to see what like was going through his brain while he was writing because he didn't even hum or anything. He would just literally write and then set up the microphone and just lay it out. So I sat there and heard him record, record the hook and I was just like, all right, 
we got a hit. Like, uh, I really felt like we were on to something like groundbreaking. We got to like step inside of like his brain kind of and um, him as a person he was just like one of the greatest people an amazing soul and um, he had like you know just like everyone does we all have our our problems he really like was big on like making people feel comfortable in their own skin so my main goal is keep his legacy alive and uh, keep his name out there you know keep it keep the movement going I start to you when I start with it With the limousine chance you be some my dick